Mazel tov. So, now you know. I'm the Jew. I'm the Jew that's come for you. You dirty Nazis, please. Some of her down, right? Because I just attended um, a session about brown Jews. I have my camera on. I want you all to see my brown Jewish face. I guess the host felt some kind of way. I could care less. Let me explain to you how um, I'm going to crack this investigation wide open. See this here? The Tanaka. The Holy Scriptures. The Holy Scriptures. So do you all recall me talking to y'all about Adam Levine? Who's the real Adam Levine? Because in the Bible, Torah, and Quran, it is clear. Eve is not the wife of Adam. Eve is not even the first wife of Adam. The first wife of Adam is Lilith. You haven't heard about Lilith? Perhaps you should. Step into the light. And it's interesting to me how somebody just tried to access my Google account. How stupid can you be? You want to know their email address to see? You want to play computer games with me? You want to play surveillance games with me? You got the wrong one, sweetheart. So who wants to call themselves Queen Lucifer B at Gmail. I'm Queen Lucifer. That's my name. You tried to get into my account, did you? Shut you down. I just did. What can you do? I already changed the encryption and the password. Yeah. Are you spying through the router? Probably. That's why I left it open. To get your digital footprint. So if you want to catch a criminal trying to spy on you, trying to stalk you, trying to use your identification, right? All you gotta do is no cybersecurity. Yeah, master class time. So Maria Rosola, 777 at Gmail. First of all, 777 is my number, just like 666. And uh, who are you, Maria Rizzoli, 777 at Gmail? Who are you, Queen Lucifer B at Gmail? Cause you're both trying to copy me off a whole nother YouTube page. How stupid can you be? Well, I got your email addresses. So that means I can get your information through Google. I'm studying cybersecurity with Google, stupid. Also business intelligence. You're not that intelligent. Hmm. That's why I have multiple devices, multiple platforms. You need to learn. That's why when I wanted to know about AWS, I attended the conference, darling, and I have scholarships to um, work on AWS platforms. Uh, clearly, if you wanna work in IT, you wanna work in cybersecurity, you need to know how to work on multiple platforms. And so it just so happened that when I was attending a conference, a Jewish conference in DC many years ago, and they were giving, I was doing check-in, and they are giving everyone an iPad. And of course, some white fool had the nerve to ask me, oh, are you, do you know how to use an iPad? I said, oh, do you know I can build a computer? We had, we had Apple back in like, I don't know, elementary school, darling. So don't ever assume or question that if I know how to do something, what would give you the right or the reason? Because you're racist. Cause you're jealous because you're not really a jew uh i get asked all the time what is my ethnicity <laughs> because jews are not just white we're brown mm. we're in many countries mm. i'm israel the real israel sorry not sorry have you been shocked have you been bamboozled hoodwinked and led astray you better learn how to read the Jewish Bible. You better learn how to return back to your roots. So there's Ethiopian Jews. Of course, I run into them all the time. They are so racist, especially the men. Why, why are you racist, sir? I had a uh, Fedeke law 
called himself a lawyer, an Ethiopian Jew? No, you're not. You made up the whole website. You're not even an attorney. Run tell that. So, you little criminals keep trying to get into my accounts. You're so stupid. Who shut down your bank accounts? Because you're not Jewish. You don't know the Jew way. You claim to be a Jew. I don't have to wear anything. But when my hair is covered, I don't expect a black man to want to try to take my head covering off. I don't expect a black man, his white boyfriend, to go running around harassing everyone. So you want to know why I'm stalked and harassed? Because I'm a Jew. The Jew. The Savior. The Messiah. The one that you all bow down and call Sire. I run the empire. The knights, the bishops, the crooks, and all. I say, Lucifer, I'm the queen. How can I fall? I got everything. I even got the ring, but I gave it back. Said, I don't want that. I want absolute domination. Do you know what you're facing? It's Lucifer's nation. Bow it down. Salute me, bitches. So am I set on world domination? Yes, I am. Am I set on implementing the new world order? Yes, I am. What can you do about it? Because guess where you're going? To the gas chamber. Ah, where's your Hitler? It's a fictional character, stupid. Go call your Zionistic daddy. Go call him. He can't help you. Police not going to help him either. Gestapo. You got Gestapo. So who's going to overthrow the government? I already did. It's already done. You've been infiltrated at every level. You got spies, I got spies too. You got criminals, I got criminals too. Cause I own you. For a few funky dollars, I own you. Do not forget that. Do your job, slave. Cause that's what y'all are, slaves. Go call your manager, go call your supervisor, go call your corporate, whomever. I own them too. I own you all. I own you, baby. You don't own me. I'm not the peasant. I'm the queen bee. Perhaps you've heard about me. Well, clearly, they didn't tell you all that you should have known. Number one, I'm not afraid of y'all. Number two, I am better at stalking trolling, terrorizing, exposing, surveilling than all of you. That's why I bust out your workplace mobbing. That's why I bust out your gang stalking. I bust out your community watch. Watching me, you got you paying neighbors to watch me. I watch them watching me. And I, I let everyone know in the community. What can you do? You on the payroll? Ha <laughs> ha, you're going down stupid. Now, are you upset? The queen of Jews is me, darling. Can't you tell? Do I look like I am living in poverty? No, I've never. Because even when you try to put me in poverty, still I rise. Can you discriminate against me from going to school? Of course you do. That's why I sue you. Yeah. And I can attend any college, any university that I want to. You can't stop me from going to school, stupid. They have tried. You cannot stop me from a damn thing. Can't stop me from having children. Can't stop me from getting married again. You can't stop me from opening multiple businesses, family owned businesses. So y'all love my curly, kinky hair? I bet you do. You wish you could be me, Tuts. I'm what you want to be. And so that's why I'm going through the router and I'm looking at all the IP addresses that have tried to come through my computer, my laptop, my tablet. Because I know how you dummies work. You like to go through people's devices and shut them down. Look it up. Look how these people are shutting down iPhones. I keep telling you, if you have an iPhone, you are easy to hack. You are much more so easier than Android, clearly. 
And so people have been stealing my children's iPhones. They've been stealing my iPhone. Keep it. I got you. Now I'm tracking you, stupid. Oh, you steal my laptops? I'm still tracking you. Ha <laughs> ha, how dumb you are. They steal my phone all the time. Like at the San Diego airport in 2021. I'm still tracking you. My tablets. I don't know. This is my second fire. We on fire tonight. I'm still tracking you. So is the government. That's why I got your IP addresses. That's why I know your device names. I'm going to hack somebody. I can hack you. I've already done it. Ha ha. All your little RFID chips, radio frequency identification devices, they're hackable. They're putting you for a reason. It really is the mark of the beast. You're just too stupid to realize that. It's in your cable box. It is in your phone. It is on your bank cards. It is everywhere. That's how the government tracks you. They know how much you spend. You spend too much. You start getting phone calls. What are you doing? Why are you trying to take all your money out the bank? You go to the bank to get your money out. Here they go at PNC. Here they go at all the banks. Why are you questioning me? I can deposit and take out as much money as I want. That's why you're skimming. You're skimming. Oh, look at me. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Check out the figure that you have to go get surgery to get. Silicone butt pads. Silicone breast implants. Plastics. Ah, this is natural. I don't need a BBL. I don't need your corsets, your waist trainers. It's called working out. Hold up. It's called working out. Are you jealous? Are you offended? You're offended by my royalty? I don't care. So if you want to know who you really are in the world, look at how you're treated. Look at how you were talked to by everyone. Everybody. So y'all do know that Hitler was a Jew. You know that, right? Gestapo, Guten Dog. Are you trying to play my role? You can't. Because maybe what you were told about Hitler is not true. Maybe you were set up, Nazis, by your own leader. Uh-huh. I can stop you. Because I knew that there are plenty of people in the government who are terrorists. Plenty of people who want to be the queen. Who want to marry the king. You cannot marry the king. No. He doesn't want you. He wants me. Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> we all see why. Also, you can impersonate my children. Wow, because you're broke, you brokes. You can't impersonate my family. So whoever's been out here impersonating the Lord, you done fucked up. Call yourself Jay-Z, Rockefeller, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Talk that shit now. Jay-Z, Gay-Z. You can't. Cause you're out here pretending. Brooklyn, Williamsburg. Are you unorthodox? <laughs> Lucy for dawn of the morning. No one can chase me out of here. That's all you wanna do, so you can pretend to be me. Who's Jesus? Exactly. Calls himself the Messiah, does he? He doesn't do his job. Isn't the role of the Messiah to deal with all that I'm dealing with, to handle the business? You can't handle the business. Wow. But you want to call yourself Yeezy, Yeezy like Kanye. You want to call yourself the Messiah. Okay. Doesn't the Messiah get crucified? Do you not die on the cross? You want to hang out or you want to hang out? That's why everyone wants to protect you and your little boyfriends. 12 disciples running around, running your mouth. Wow. 
All you care about is how good you look to the father. Father, bless me. Bless me, father. No, I got all your blessings. Ha <laughs> ha, beat you all out. 12 tribes, you're done. Call yourself what again? Hebrew Israelites? I don't know y'all. Y'all so angry, standing there outside everywhere with the police to protect you. What the fuck are the police doing protecting y'all? Same thing for you protesters. You want to protest against Israel? I'm Israel. What you protesting, stupid? What you protesting? Oh, you're paid to protest. Hamas. Because I caught you Hamas protesters in Las Vegas, did I not? Did I just walk right past your stupid protest and laugh? I sure did. But I made sure to record y'all. And I made sure to record all the military out there. And I made sure to record all the police out there. We don't pay taxpayer money for the police to come protect protesters. The same police that help the protesters scale the walls like little porch monkeys. The same police that keep getting locked up in jurisdictions. Why? You cannot overthrow the government. You cannot try to protect your Zion, daddy. Mountain of Zion. If it was all falling down. You know, I get told in courtrooms, uh, Jewish jokes, don't die on the mountain. Where is your generational wealth? Where are your family businesses? Mind your business. Stay out of my family's business. Stay out of all my family's businesses. Because Jews, uh-oh, they're more of us than they are of y'all. Wow. That's why everyone wants to know my ethnicity. None of your business. That's why y'all here playing all these roles. Because you can't figure out where I'm from. You can't figure out why is my skin so beautiful and brown. Why do I have such nice, curly, kinky hair? It's not nappy. Y'all the nappy-headed hoes. Yeah. Running your mouths. Go comb your hair if you can. You can't. Because you don't know how. You don't take care of yourself. You don't take care. You worrying about my wig. It looks better than yours. Are you mad? Are you jealous? Oh, my God. You're not a hairstylist. <laughs> Rachel Dolezal. Yeah. So Rachel's stupid ass. Can I figure out my ethnicity? I'll tell you. I'm a Jew. The Jew. The Jew. I sue. It's the Jew way. I save my money. It's the Jew way. Who's cheap? You're cheap. Wearing cheap ass clothes. From Timo. And Shane. And whatever shit you can steal. Who's broke you broke? When I go into the bank, my cards don't decline. So who's playing with the RFID chips and the cards? You can't embarrass me. Because I know that if one card doesn't magically go through, I have another one. And then I have cash. Cash is not king. It doesn't earn any interest. Who told you cash is king? Criminals. Because that's all they want is cash. Because it's untraceable. Are you sure? You sure that cash doesn't have serial numbers on it? And that perhaps those serial numbers were recorded before you want to steal somebody's pocketbook? Yeah. I used to live in Greenbelt. Greenbelt, Maryland. I used to live at Spring Hill Lake Apartments. Oh, we are going there. And it just so happens, this was many, many years ago. When I was in foster care. Wow, bringing it on home, aren't we? And they were three black men who watched me and the other woman, who's also black, like me, also a Jew, like me. We got out of the car. We're going into the apartment. And all of a sudden, the three guys that I saw, they came running and grabbed our pocketbooks. The pocketbook was a brown Guess pocketbook. Guess you ran out of time. 
in that pocketbook was a brown guess wallet with a guess watch and my ID, a Maryland ID. So this happened, I want to say, in 19... Wow, I'm telling my age. So what? I want to say this happened in like, what, 1998, 1999? And this was supposed to be what is called an independent living program, right? And so, first of all, I already left the Future Bell Independent Living Program when I caught Carolyn. Carolyn Crocky Denise Bowen Curry pretending to be a black woman. What were you doing at the National Center for Children and Family? You're a counselor, right? What were they also doing at the Independent Living Program? Where they wanted me to live in an apartment with the staff. That's kind of creepy. A teenager. So I was a teenager back then. And you want me to live in an apartment with adults coming in and out, back and forth. I had just turned 18. I was at Montgomery College. Yeah. Go to college, why don't you? And uh, I didn't want to live there with Carolyn. Cracky Carolyn. The same foster parent that I got rid of in D.C. I don't want to be in your cracky crack home. The same foster parent that uh, in PG. I don't want to live in your dirty ass home. So then they change their name and go to Maryland. They go to Montgomery County, Maryland. I said, hell no. This is the same fool that keeps changing their name and going from jurisdiction to jurisdiction because they want foster children. Why do you need all these foster children? So you can lay on the couch all day? get drunk, smoke crack with your boyfriends. Mm -hmm. So I had to protect the foster children from cracky crack and their boyfriends who were celebrities and politicians. I was not impressed. Cracky crack wanted me to go uh, be a cheetah girl. Raven Simone, how's your career? Raven Simone went in that room. I did it. Ha ha. Then they wanted us to be a group, like we were the Jackson Five. I was the only girl in the foster home with all these boys. So I had to beat them up. They kept trying to come in my room at night, come in the shower on me. Fuck, no, the hell you're not. Because y'all nasty with y'all ancestral selves. And so it just so happens that I was smart. I waited till I was 18. I didn't have to become emancipated. No. I changed. I had my name changed. So whoever's ID that you stole way long ago in foster care, that's not my name. Now how you feel? Tell me about it. That's why you're always running from the police. Same thing in Baltimore. When I was in art school. But you don't follow me around in art school. You're not an artiste. <laughs> you couldn't even get in. How you gonna complain? You can't even get in art school because you're not an artist. Art ain't selling. Selling that ass, huh? Like Rachel Dolls here. And their brother, Joshua. I called Joshua Dolls at his home, sweetheart, two nights ago. How's it feel? You're not even a good stalker. I found out about all your information. You still trying to figure out who I am. So are y'all pretending? Hold up. Let's, let's get the kicker. On social media, are you pretending to be children to talk to my children and I catch you? And then you get beat up. I see you in a jail. I put your charges online. You were caught trying to talk to my children online. Because the first thing I do is I monitor everything. Parental controls. I have that right. No, you cannot talk to my children. No, you cannot talk to anyone's children. So I catch you all the time. Pretending to be children. You're not. So you can be it in, uh, on college campuses. So you can be uh, on, in high schools, in middle schools. 
I don't think so. No, because all you celebrities, you all brag about, like MC Light, step into the light. You brag about underage teenagers getting with them. All of you do. It's not okay. You're disgusting. You're preying upon children like you tried to prey upon me. So tell the truth. Did I not tie you to the chair? Did I not duct tape your mouth? I did. To so shut the fuck up. I'm going to cook for the children. And I cooked for the foster children. I cleaned for the foster children. I got them dressed. I put them on the school bus. You're going to school. You're not going to be laying around with crazy pants. Well, I knew you was a man. Even though you put on a dress and you go to DHS, I want to be a foster mother. For what? They don't even check people's backgrounds. That's the problem. You just put children in people's homes. You're supposed to inspect the home. You're supposed to run their background and make sure that they are who they say they are. Are you mad your secret's out? Your secret's been out, stupid. That's why you're out here putting on them dusty ass wigs, trying to get more foster children. And I put a stop to you. Cause I caught you, Maria, dirty Maria. From Mexico. So dirty. When your black boyfriends come over there, you can't even clean up because they're dirty like you. When your white boyfriends on the police force come off to get a little sucky sucky, you can't even clean up. Why do you think I recorded y'all? Down on your knees, down on your knees. Yeah, former foster parents. Jay-Z and Beyonce, how y'all doing? I remember y'all. So Maria, Maria, are you pretending again? Like I caught you at the courthouse to be me? Yes, you are, I got you on video. Y'all wanna see Maria at the courthouse? Cause it's funny. Maria Rizzola, 777 at Gmail, you're busted. Google keeps airtight records, and I already have your digital footprint. You got into my Google account, and you tried to set the recovery email for your email. Who I was calling themselves, uh, hold up, Queen Lucifer B at Gmail. You also tried to get into my account and switch the recovery. See, I left the doors open for you. So you could get in. So I could prove it. That's how stupid you are. Keep on stalking. You want to be a cyber stalker? You better learn how to do that shit properly. Because I got y'all on camera. Recorded. <laughs> Recorded with your police friends. Recorded with all of you. Wow. What's the problem? Ain't no problem. Y'all the problem. Maria Consuela, you're still dirty. You're still eating beans in the dirt, bitch. With your broke ass. So you just need a little bit of crack cocaine. Is that what it is? Wow. Just wow. So we already seen Cracky Crack try to get into the building. Your boyfriend, Mike, can't help you. Because it's funny. Greenbelt. Uh-oh. Who's from Greenbelt? Uh-oh. Who still has the records? They do. Just like when my house in College Park, Maryland, got broken into. When I was attending the University of Maryland. Still got the records. My home in Baltimore broken into. When I attended art school, still got the records. California, when I was uh, attending University of San Diego, who broke into my home? I got the records, stupid. Damn, you're dumb. Why don't you go to school? Why don't you learn something instead of following me around? Tend to be me. And then so, ironically, Victor Pena, who's Mexican. I caught him stealing at Willis Tyre Watson. 
in San Diego, Sorrento Valley, uh, just a mile away from the FBI. Where's your call center? It's shut down. Because in the call center, I found Victor, a.k.a. Maria, stealing. Let's see. Victor Pena. And when I caught you outside my villa in Carlsbad, the police refused to take action. They told me I am making it up. Really? That's why there were body cameras. And they came to my villa. Hmm. So then I had a, the front desk. Another Mexican keeps putting charges on my debit cards because you're stealing. So then I went to Oceanside, California. What's up, Oceanside PD? Y'all remember me. And I caught the slumlords at Coast Inn. They were Indian cooking that meth in the back. So Coast Inn, they were human trafficking the residents based off their race. So that's why I saw Cracky Crack, White Cracky, Cracky Jackie, in a, looking dirty, out there. You know, they wanna do the thumbs up. They're hitchhikers. They'll get a ride with anyone. They stand on the highway, Coast Highway, in Oceanside, where Camp Pendleton is located also. You see, there's multiple sides to Camp Pendleton, you see. So Camp Pendleton, there is a part that is in Orange County. There's a part that's in Oceanside, California, San Diego County, and um, the OC. So it's funny. I caught you on the corner. You're, you're, you're getting pimped out by the hotel. And I stopped it. You know why? Because you're not supposed to be doing that. And I caught them pushing drugs on the people. And then they were paying people to harass me. Like your little black boyfriend downstairs who likes to yell and scream at everybody. They weren't that tough. Cause I came, I was cleaning up that filthy ass hotel because I needed to investigate. Why are y'all slumlords? Why is there black mold in these hotel rooms? When the county, the government, is paying for people to not be on the street. And then people are telling me they can't get a hotel room. I said, why not? Everybody's supposed to be helped during the pandemic and even after. And so here's what I caught. Uh, I'm going to name their names. I caught, um, who was it? First, I caught Maria at the bilateral safety corridor collision. Human trafficking, everybody, Mexicans, Africans, Asians, because they are coming and they're seeking asylum, which means you're not supposed to prey on them. So the FBI has what's called safe houses. Who do you think sent me to your safe house to record you, to uh, interview you, to interview the people living there, that you're human trafficking. Me, because who else can get the job done? Me, clearly. So that's how I set Maria up. I called Maria. Oh, I need help, I'm outside the church. I need shelter. I need a damn shelter, stupid. I'm mobile homes. Maria would not come help me. She told me to sleep outside the church. So the homeless were not lying when they told me that nobody will help them and they're sleeping outside of my church, the Catholic church, because nobody will help them. And I didn't believe them at first until I investigated myself. And sure enough, Maria wouldn't come, but that's your job. You're not a government agency. How are you getting government contracts? And you have a TV producer that's in on it. We're going there. I got time for it. I got nothing but time. I bet Mike is probably waiting for me to come downstairs so he can have a confrontation. 
There's no confrontation necessary. You're busted. The police officer that did not help me, he's busted. The police chief, he's busted too. What can you do? What can you do? So Maria Ugarte. First, let's look up bilateral safety code or collision. Because I have busted you. You didn't even pay the workers. Hi, Ruby. Hey, guys, y'all remember me? Didn't I come save you from crazy Maria? Maria, mama mia, you are a mister. Because I caught Maria. Why are you trying to come in the shower? On the people living in your home. They're there to be helped. Maria had expired food. Maria had um, dogs and cats. I took care of your animals because Maria was abusing the animals. What kind of monster are you? That you abuse children, you abuse adults, you abuse animals. God damn you. So here we go. Bilateral Safety Corridor Coalition. Check them out. 121 East 31st Street, Suite A, National City, California, 91950. Call them, 619-336-0770. Let's take a look at their website because that's how I busted them. Here we go. Wait a minute. Let's wait till these loud trucks get the fuck out of here. I mean, how much construction do y'all need to make? It's noisy. They do that on purpose. Whenever um, someone is speaking out against human traffickers and sex offenders, Nazis, they have distraction techniques. That's why they like to try to drown out my voice. So if I'm singing, here comes a fool next to me that can't sing for shit. So here we go. Fighting human trafficking in the Americas. Bilateral safety court. Guess what their phone number is? 666. Because the hotline for human trafficking in San Diego County is 619-666-2757. Make it make sense. You're doing satanic ritual abuse to people. And here's their lovely website where they're, we're not for sale and we're helping everyone. No, you're not. You're only helping yourselves. And guess who was connected to the bilateral safety corridor coalition? The Lakewood Church. Lakewood. Isn't that the name of that fake pastor Joel Osteen's church? It sure is. So they're talking about stop slavery. They're the slave owners, so they think. Excuse me. Isn't Todd Gloria Mexican? So what is he doing with all those migrant children in the San Diego Convention Center? After I caught them human trafficking the homeless at the San Diego Convention Center. Uh, can't do that. The workers were black and Mexican. And then they had racist Karen who didn't want to help the immigrants. So when I tell you that all you need to come together, it's for a reason because they're doing it to all of you. They're not going to do it to me and my family. And I don't think it's right for them to do it to yours. But when I tell you all these things, you're going to paint me as crazy, delusional. How so? I have all the records and receipts. I come with the receipts, remember? And so I'll tell you that Maria was supposed to come pick me up at the Chula Vista trolley station. I immediately called in the FBI and they said, she's trying to make you get in the car. Cause that's what a lot of you human traffickers do. You drive around as if you are the police or sometimes you are the police and you're supposed to help people. You're supposed to assist them. Instead, they will take you to a place to sell you. They know what's going on in the house. That's why so many communities I had to come in and wake everyone up. You got human traffickers living here. 
you got human traffickers in this house. I'm going in. With bricks, with rocks, baseball bats, whatever I can get my hands on. So, traffickers are denying nearly 40 million people their fundamental rights to freedom, forcing them to live enslaved and toil for their exploiter's profit. They want to make money off of you. So look at Maria. Dirty ass. But wait a minute. Who helps Maria? The police, the sheriff, everyone. Because they feel that this individual who wins all these awards, first of all, you better look at how a person gets an award, like a Grammy or Oscar, because they were a good prostitute. That's all. They, they can't sing. They don't have any talent. They just hold up, I have nine Grammys. How many men did you suck off? Yeah. So here they are as a charity, a 501, 3C charity, who doesn't pay taxes? But you're getting government grants and government contracts. So what was Maria doing at the Lakewood Church? Let's pull up their information. I told you the churches love to have uh, mega churches. They love to have these huge auditoriums so they can put on a show how much they love the Lord. Miss me with your foolishness. So I told the church about Maria and told them, do not give this heifer any money. Because what is Maria doing? Going to the church, begging for supplies. You have money. You can't even pay the workers. But you're sitting up here begging the church, lying to the church about everything. And you're begging them, we need toilet paper. We need trash bags. You need so much. Damn, you're needy. So you know me. I said, excuse me. Do not give this heifer a damn thing. They are lying to you. They are stealing the money that they get from the government contract to run a safe house for people that are experiencing human trafficking. And they're preying on the um, people that live there. You know how I caught them? I'll tell you how I caught them. So Maria got upset. I said, I don't need a ride back. I'll walk. So Maria followed me in the car. No, no, you must come back. It was all part of the setup, sweetheart. Make you think I needed you. I don't need you. But what I did do was get those people out of there. Because one of the people living there, Rebecca, she was being abused. She told me how they leave the front door open at night. So anyone can come to the house. Oh, yeah? I'm going to stay up all night then. Which is why I stay up all night waiting for you to try to break into somebody's room, to come into somebody's room, to come in on them on the shower. So at first, I was apprehensive, right? Because you can't show your bias and you can't tell the people that you're there to investigate until you get all the information. So my cover was not blown. I wait until it's time for me to get out of there and close the investigation and let the authorities know. So you would think that um, when a person is living in waste and squalor, trash everywhere, dog feces everywhere, wouldn't even let the animals out. How are you locking up dogs in a room? I let the dogs out. Who let the dogs out? I did. Who bathed the dogs? I did. Who fed them? I did. So you can't abuse animals. I call the humane society. You know what they told me? I showed them the pictures in the video. I said, she's trying to force the people who live here to live in dilapidated housing, to live with roaches, to live with mice, to live in disgusting conditions. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So what Maria's plan was, Maria told me, 
Well, don't you need a job? Really? Okay, so let's play the role. Yeah, I need a job. Well, you can work for some of my friends. Doing what exactly? I have multiple degrees, but they didn't know that. Um, they're very vague. So then they told me, well, if you need housing, I can help you. I have apartments. Oh, you do? You have multiple apartments for people? They were forcing people to live crowded in rooms, families. First of all, it's illegal for more than one person to occupy a bedroom if they are not related, if they are children. So you're forcing families to live crowded in rooms. That's illegal. But you look at most of these shelters, they're huge open spaces where families don't have privacy, where men roam around harassing them. And then the men figure, if I put on a dress, I can get up in the woman's shelter. I can get up in the family shelter with children that you're abusing. And so for Rebecca, I said, okay, I'm gonna investigate. But I couldn't tell Rebecca who I really was because a lot of times the people who are being abused, they've been brainwashed like Stockholm syndrome. They have been conditioned to protect their abuser. Yeah, let's look up Stockholm condition. And so with Rebecca, uh, Maria didn't want me to talk to Rebecca. She tried to turn me against Rebecca from the jump. And I thought something's odd with this because why are you talking bad about a client in your home to another client in your home? Because they like to cause chaos and confusion. And if somebody's being abused, they want to isolate that person. They want them to feel helpless. So I came in. I immediately just start cooking and cleaning. First of all, I would bust Maria. Why is all this food expired? So I threw, I threw it away. Maria got angry. You threw away. I threw away all that old food before I took pictures of it. And then I cooked. Oh, you like rice and beans? I can cook you some rice and beans. I worked in Mexican restaurants, no problema. So then, um, Becky tells me that Maria likes to come in the shower on them, which is highly inappropriate. Now I noticed something about Rebecca. She had just had a surgery, so it's hard for her to get around. Okay, so I'll help you. So Maria's like, no, don't help her. She's manipulating you. She can do it herself. She just had surgery. I saw the actual paperwork. So I knew that she was not lying because a lot of times when people are speaking up about abuse, they're not believed because people say, no, that kind of person could never. How do you know? How do you know? So you know what I did? I set Maria up. I turned, I was in the basement. I turned the shower on. Maria thought I was getting ready to get in the shower, did they? Of course you did. I stood behind the door. And when Maria came in the bathroom, I said, bitch, you better get the fuck out of here. And I had my camera and I was, what the fuck you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. You heard the shower water running. You knew that I was getting ready to get in the shower because you could hear it because Maria didn't want any locks on the bedroom doors. So you can come in people's room at night like they've all been telling me. Mm -hmm. So Maria was busted. Oh no, I'm so sorry. It won't happen again. I know it's not gonna happen again. So then Maria comes home and their dogs don't even like them. You know the saying, if my dog doesn't like you, I don't like you. If children don't like you, I don't like you. And so it just so happens that their dogs will come running to me because I cleaned those dogs. I bathed those dogs. I fed those dogs. I took them outside for exercise. And then they even had cats and you're abusing the cats. The cats, she would not feed the animals. She would not feed the people. I had to go and buy dog food. 
and buy cat food and feed the animals and the cats and bathe them too and clean up all this feces and urine. That's so disgusting. How are you sitting down at a table to eat? And there's dog feces right there. There's urine. And I still have pictures of, you know, those pads. So I used to uh, take care of animals and you potty train them, right? Or you housebreak them. So that way they're not eating up your leather shoes like my pit bull used to do, or they are not um, going to the bathroom everywhere. So cats can go in their litter box, but you have to change their litter box. So I had to do that. Then the dogs sitting up there starving animals. What's wrong with you? You're the animal. So they want to lock the dogs up in a cage and told me when they go to work, they are to stay locked up. Do you think I listened to Maria? I opened the cages. I took the dogs out and I let them be dogs, be cats. And then for Rebecca, who was stuck in their room, almost like misery, trying to keep them thinking that they can't get help. So when Rebecca told me that the front door is always open at night, I stayed up at night. I'm sitting at the dining room table in the dark waiting for you. Come on up in here if you want to. And sure enough, the handle turns. You know what I did? Boom. Hold on. Let me show you. I got my boots on for this shit. Boom. I got those high kicks. I kicked the lock out. What you trying to come in here for? Who are you? Trespasser. Did you like getting a gun put in your face? That's my job. Because what are you doing coming in to a house that you're not a resident of? Because you're, you're preying on the people in the home. No, you're not. And they ran away like a little boy. But there's cameras there that recorded it. So then Maria realizes, I'm not who you thought I was, clearly. And then, so Maria has to find a way now because they can't get me to not trust Rebecca or listen to them. Because that's what they usually try to do. They try to make the person that's being abused seem as though they're crazy. They're delusional. They're making it up. No, I knew that Rebecca was not lying to me. So I slowly started getting the evidence. I knew Ruby, who's also Mexican, was not lying to me. So here's how I set this heifer up. So then they realize they can't get me to work. 